have my robe on i have my bonnet on hairs out of the way and we're gonna do my post chemical peel skincare routine i am on day three and a half three and a half and yesterday i saw some peeling under my chin oh you can kind of still see it i also just scratched myself so that's what that is but you can see it right here and i also have some over here this part of my face is extremely dry and i'm just expecting it to crack can you see that crack anytime soon and yes my skin feels just if not more dry than what it looks like the peel i did is a tca and a vitamin a peel so two separate ones and then alternating between i had a total of six passes vitamin a peel has retinol and glycolic acid while the tca has like berries and also seven percent tca so it's pretty low but together my skin was definitely hot especially after like the fourth pass this morning i only washed it with some water a quick rinse and that's it and now i'm going to rehydrate with the la roche posay thermal spring water oh it's so freaking refreshing every single time i use it i'm like ah. I don't know how to explain that. It's just like that feeling. This is going to hydrate but also dampen my skin for the next few products. Next up, I'm going to take the Vegan Kombucha Essence Tea Essence by Dr. Circle. This is like, oh, I forgot to show you before I mixed it up. It has two layers, like an oil layer and then a milky layer. You shake it up and this one is definitely creamier than Laneige Cream Skin, than... The rice toner from i'm from which i also love but right now i like need this the first day i was using a different toner i use like the peach slices snail rescue toner because i find that snail products really help my skin recover after microneedling and chemical peels but that was not enough so now i am doing a couple layers of this toner this toner has ceramides and just like it feels so rich on the skin when my skin is normal and not going through a whole peeling process, I can actually use this and I don't feel the need to moisturize right away. Like I can sit down, take my time, and then put my moisturizer after. My skin doesn't feel super dry if I wait. My skin is already coming back to life with just those two products. I'm gonna do one more layer, a total of three layers. I'll show you how thick that is. Oh, I love this one. So if you have really really dry skin and you're looking for the ultimate milky toner check this one out next is the reparative serum so i have two options i have the rescue md dna complex and then also the sachi skin pro resilience serum i've been loving both of them i've been using the sachi skin for a little bit longer i'll actually use them on each side so you can see the Pro Resilient Serum says antioxidant, hydration, peptides, and bioflavonoid repair concentrate. This one has it all. Like, all. Seriously. And it feels like nicely hydrating and viscous. It has like that viscosity to it on the skin. It has a really nice lip. Oh, it's so good. This one's actually very interesting. It has many similar ingredients. This one has more. Like, it has more of a complex ingredient list. But this one's a little bit more simple and I have to look into the whole DNA complex thing because I honestly use it more for the soothing and peptide ingredients in it. But I'm really interested in learning more about the DNA technology that's in here. As you can see, this one's definitely more watery. It's already being absorbed in my skin and this one is a bit thicker. It's like a moisturizing serum. At night, I layer two moisturizers and then I use the CeraVe healing ointment. But in the morning routine, I do something more simple. So I'll go through what my nighttime routine looks like for this part. So I use liquid gold. It could be a moisturizer for oily and combination skin types and more of a very moisturizing serum. If you have like a normal to dry skin type. So I use this one under and then I put on the Dew Instant Angel Lipid Rich Moisturizer. If you like something thinner, this one's great. If you like something that's a bit richer but still buttery smooth, this one's also a great option. I need all of the moisture and all of the barrier and moisture repair so that's why I use them both at nighttime. And then I have to seal it all in with the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I tried using other balms and my skin just drinks it up. I'm usually not a big fan of slugging. I don't like the slip, how greasy it feels, it gets all of my pillows. But during this time, if you have very, very super dry, cracked, crusty, dusty skin, 
this is going to be your best friend we are keeping it more simple in the morning so i'm gonna just use the instant angel moisturizer by dew and i don't know where this has been my whole life i am so mad that i didn't open this sooner because it is like what my ideal moisturizer looks and feels like and you'll see how quickly this blends like butter oh my god it's definitely rich but it's not super thick it has like that that slip to it that i love sometimes with thicker moisturizers they kind of just sit on my skin and i keep rubbing and rubbing and it's still there and those kind of turn me off but this one is absolute perfection i will definitely say this is like a buttery rich moisturizer then we're gonna use some sunscreen so i have two options my favorite mineral sunscreen is the sun bomb daily mineral sunscreen moisturizer the naturium dew glow moisturizer spf 50 it's definitely moisturizing just like the name says usually when my skin is normal this takes forever to blend into my skin like over a minute and i don't have the patience for that usually but since you can skip your moisturizer this is kind of like a two-in-one you can already see how thick that is now that my skin is super dry it absorbs way way faster this is definitely great for normal skin types but best like ideally for dry skin My skin literally looks wet. This is definitely the definition of glass skin. It will look like this regardless if I use it alone or on top of skincare like I did today. Just for the first few minutes and then it will go down to still a dewy. Dewy finish but not like wet finish like it is right now. And that is my post chemical peel skincare routine. I definitely changed it up in the first day because the first day it was not enough. So it might look like a lot. It might look like a lot. I don't do this on a daily basis when my skin is normal. But right now, my moisture barrier, my skin barrier is like, so it needs it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next skincare video or vlog. Bye!